Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Benford 6100 Man's Bedroom. Yeah, this is no babe's boudoir. No honey's hideaway. No wench's way station. Man, you've had lace in your face for far too long. Now it's time to come home to Chrome. That's why we built the man's bedroom, so he feels as comfortable here as he does in his neighborhood bar. As a matter of fact, in the man's bedroom, we have the neighborhood bar. Well, Milton, how's business? Slow. <laughs> What'll it be? Ooh, a uh, perfect Manhattan for me and a Shirley Temple for Al. <laughs> well, Milton's mixing my highball. Let's take a look at the carpet, shall we? Marv, if you want to come in here, we have 100% AstroTurf. It's good for Saturday golf and Monday night football. Milton, I'm open. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be my day. <laughs> Let's take a look at the nightstands. On my side, a mesquite barbecue grill. <laughs> On your side, you have a phone, place for your beer, and a virtual reality system. <laughs> this way, when your wife's reading about Fabio, <laughs> you could be racing Indy with Mario. <laughs> In this case, guys, a fast finish in bed is not a bad thing. And if you do make your wife happy, she's got the little red button. Press this. Thank you, honey. I, uh, I do what I can. Now I'd like to show everyone my favorite part of the man's bedroom, the man's closet. Most men don't like to take the time to coordinate their clothes. But in the man's closet, all the work is done for you. Shirts, ties, and pants are on rotating drums. You just push the button for the appropriate occasion. I'm going to my mother-in-law's for dinner. My wife's nagging me about looking nice, so I press nag one. ensemble, Tim. Thank you, Al. Now let's get to the problem of making that man's bed. That's right. After a man slept in it, it might look something like this. Well, who wants to waste time with hospital corners and fluffing up sheets? You just press a button and the man's bed becomes... Of course, we're going to need some cues, Al. 